Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it is the first time you are visiting. Now if you haven't already guessed by the title today I'm going to be talking through my top bridal scent recommendations and in this edition it's going to be niche only so I will be doing a designer version of this video too but I'm going to turn this into a little bit of a bridal series because the reason why I'm so excited about this video is I'm actually getting married myself early next year and I am looking for my own bridal scent. So I figured why not turn this into a bit of a series and I will start with my top recommendations for niche category and then I will also do designer and I might do some other videos around that because I'm not 100% sure on what I'm going to be wearing yet and I am on the hunt for the perfect wedding day perfume, which I think is really difficult. I don't know what to do, to be honest, and I'd love your guys' advice on it as well, because I have tons of fragrances in my collection that I adore. I have some really beautiful memories around some of these that I'm gonna be discussing today. But I'm also thinking, do I get something new and create a new memory, have something a little bit different? I just don't know at this point. So this is gonna be a journey we go through and I will share my thoughts along the way. But yeah, this video is gonna be dedicated to, I've got eight fragrances that I would recommend for your wedding day, perfect bridal scents, and I've got something to cover different types of taste. So within different scent profiles. And I hope you enjoy this type of video. Yeah, let's just get started. So these are in no particular order, but first up on the list is a real favourite of mine and it's a close contender currently to what I could potentially wear on my wedding day. And that is Zerzhov Dama Bianca. And I just think this is the most beautiful, elegant fragrance. It is bridal scent in a bottle, to be honest. Like I would wear this on many other occasions, but I think this is absolutely beautiful for a bride. And it's a floral, musky kind of fragrance, but it does have some fruits in there too. It's quite mellow, as in it's quite, you know, subtle, laid back. It's not necessarily someone who wants to fill a room with their fragrance. But the person who's going to be wearing Dama Bianca is an elegant, classy and chic kind of girl. And yeah, if you haven't already smelled this one, I'd highly recommend getting your nose on it. Like I said, it's not going to blow the kind of projection out of the water. It's not a super intense fragrance, but it's light, fluffy and elegant, like a cloud. So I'll read you some of the notes of Dharma Bianca. So at the top, we've got kumquat and lime. In the middle, we have iris, violet, lilac and jasmine, and you definitely get those notes. And in the base, you have vanilla, malt and white musk. And I just think this will make the perfect bridal scent so it is a close contender for me at the moment and it makes me feel a certain type of way so yeah let's see what I actually pick but I'd love to know your thoughts on Dharma Bianca if you have tried this one but I think it is an ultimate no-brainer for anyone to pick as their perfect wedding day fragrance. Next up we have a fragrance that took me by surprise and for good reason. I just didn't expect it from this fragrance house because they're known for having real beast mode fragrances that are pretty intense. And that is Roja Parfums Elixir and this is the essence version. So you can get a more concentrated version of this, but this to me is again a really beautiful bridal pick. A little bit of a fun fact, one of my best friends got married uh, pretty recently, a couple of months ago and she's not a perfume wearer which I can never wrap my head around that but I'll let her be her that's her choice but she asked me to borrow a wedding fragrance or a wedding perfume because mostly her photographer had asked her to bring a perfume so they could shoot it within the photos so I kind of was thinking long and hard on what she would like that was maybe not super overpowering not too perfumey because she just doesn't like perfume and I sent her a few options and I also wanted to find something with a really beautiful bottle for her because she is all about the aesthetics and we settled on Elixir so yeah she used this on her wedding day so that's already a really happy memory for me and I just think Elixir is just such a perfect fragrance it's fruity floral a little bit of vanilla a little bit of musk and this will not offend anyone you will smell like a very pretty and elegant bride. 
yeah i i think she's perfect and if you haven't tried elixir i would love to know your thoughts but i'm just going to read out some prominent ones um bergamot raspberry rose de may peach and violet musk vanilla and cashmere wood and yeah elixir is beautiful and i can't get enough of this bottle third on the list is another one that i'm going to say is a top contender for my own wedding day scent and i'm probably going to say that about them all so yeah obviously <laughs> i love fragrance and if i could wear them all i would but the next one is Guerlain angelique noir and this is <laughs> so so beautiful it is the most perfect sweet green vanilla and it's such a different take on vanilla which is what i love about it and to me again it just reminds me of a beautiful bride the angelica note in here makes this so different for vanilla and it also has pear in there so it makes it nice and juicy and fresh too so it has notes of angelica pear and pink pepper middle notes of jasmine and caraway and base notes of more angelica and vanilla so yeah that is another recommendation for a perfect scent for the day so fourth on the list, I wanted to add a really beautiful white floral fragrance, which is something I personally don't normally gravitate towards, but I'm starting to get more into the white florals. As long as it's not super tuberose heavy, there are white florals that I do really enjoy. And I thought, what kind of white floral would I think about for my wedding day? And one that always comes to mind is Jasmine. I think Jasmine is so, so pretty. So the next fragrance recommendation I have for you is Paris Monte Carlo Jasmine de Pays. Yeah, de Pays. And again, this just looks like a bridal bottle. Jasmine de Pays is just the most realistic jasmine fragrance I have personally smelt. It is absolutely gorgeous. It smells like you have just walked past a fresh jasmine bush and it's wafted in the air. There's nothing synthetic about this. And if that's your kind of vibe and you just want to smell like real fresh florals, then I think this will be a beautiful recommendation. I think jasmine can be done pretty badly. Not badly, but I think some people get put off by jasmine because there are popular fragrances out there that have adverse reactions. <laughs> so don't be put off by the name. This is pretty linear in terms of the note profile to me. I really get straight up beautiful white jasmine flowers there's no dirtiness to there it's not skanky jasmine by any means and the notes are top notes jasmine middle notes to get and clove and base notes musk so if you are a white floral girl and you love jasmine and you haven't smelt this one i would highly recommend you checking it out the fifth fragrance i'm going to be talking about is very new to my collection however i did smell this a long time ago and i have been playing around with a sample of it so it is tried and tested and I'm so glad to finally have this in my collection. And that is Dear Polly by Wilhelm Perfumery. And the bottles are mind-blowingly gorgeous in my opinion. And I wanted to add this in here because it's a different take on bridal scents, I think. It's very fresh and very zesty, but has black tea and amber in there. I thought about putting Byredo Balder Freak, but actually I think this is more elegant and a lot more elevated very crowd pleasing too but yeah if you're someone who likes fresh zesty aromatic fragrances i think dear polly will be the one to go for it has top notes of bergamot and apple so it's very fresh and zesty right up the top middle notes of black tea and then base notes of black amber and musk and i don't want it to put you off by me saying it's an aromatic fragrance and the tea note it's very beautiful still very very elegant it's probably going to be my scent of the day today because i haven't actually sprayed myself i've learned a lesson not to spray myself before these videos because if i'm wearing something pretty strong i can't really smell from the bottle but yeah i absolutely adore dear polly i think it's very classy very elegant and it's kind of like i don't want to say a clean girl vibes because it's not but it's that kind of clean it girl kind of aesthetic and yeah she's beautiful and you'll smell beautiful if you wear dear polly so i wanted to add a bit of a curveball scent in here uh, it's not a curveball in terms of it couldn't be worn by a bride but i wanted to add something with a little bit more of a sexy kick to it so in sixth place we have one of my favorites zerjoff bouquet adele and 
I love this. It's one of my favourites ever. And I do think it is still very appropriate for a bride. It's a little bit different. It's not like the name suggests. So when you hear the name bouquet, you assume it's going to be a floral fragrance. And this is not a floral fragrance at all. It's a very sexy, enveloping, beautiful, musky fragrance. And this is definitely a contender for my day because this feels so me in a bottle. It's one of my top, top scents of all time. And yeah, that's the reason why I'm thinking about potentially picking this one. So I'm going to read you the notes just because I mentioned it's not a very floral fragrance like the name suggests. So Bouquet Idylle has top notes of cinnamon and nutmeg, middle notes of sandalwood and cedar, base notes of vanilla, tonka, tobacco blossom and musk. And what I personally get from this is I do get like a red berry vibe from it. It's not in the notes, but I get it. I also pick up the cinnamon and nutmeg. And then you get a beautiful like vanilla-y tonka base. And I just think it is super classy, but also super sexy. So if that's the vibe you're going for and you have not checked out Zerjoff Bouquet Adile, I 100% recommend you going and getting your nose on this one because I don't see that many people talking about it. And I think it's one of the best Zerjoffs personally. So we have reached seventh and eighth spots. And I wanted to leave these two to the end because they are more popular fragrances. And I don't want to talk too much about hyped up fragrances. However, I love both of these. They would definitely be fragrances that I would immediately think about for a bride. And I have to talk about them. So in seventh place, we have Initio Atomic Rose. And yeah, I adore this one. I have to say though, the more fragrances I've started to collect, I gravitate towards this less and less just because I have so much choice now. But I will always love this. I have great memories of Atomic Rose and I had to include it because I do think it makes a really nice bridal scent. It's a little bit more of a sexy bridal scent, in my opinion, compared to the last one. And I'll go over the details. But Atomic Rose, as per the name, is a rose centric fragrance. However, it's a very spicy rose. You get lots of pink pepper in the opening and the settle down. But it's sweet and it also has kind of like a vanilla -y vibe to it as well. So top notes are pink pepper, headline and bergamot. The middle notes are Bulgarian rose and Turkish rose, and then the base notes are vanilla and amber. So it's basically a very sexy pink pepper and rose fragrance with a vanilla -y amber base. And she will always hold a place in my collection. Whilst I don't reach for her much anymore, Atomic Rose is a very, very beautiful rose. And that leads me on to the final recommendation, which I would say it's similar in a way to Atomic Rose. This is the big sexy sister, and then we have the young innocent sister to end with. Let me just quickly grab up the notes. I know the notes anyway, but I just want to get them up just in case. So last but not least, and I'm sorry to talk about this one because you're probably sick of hearing about it, but that is Parfums de Mali Delina. And this holds a very special place in my heart. And it's why I'm toying about trying to find something different to wear because I wear this a lot. It's talked about a lot. And yeah, I, I don't know. Shall I get something different? So Delina, if you don't already know, has a beautiful opening of rhubarb and lychee. It's so, so gorgeous. But then it is a rose centric fragrance. And this is up there with one of like the top bridal scent recommendations I see across like YouTube for niche. And it's there for good reason, because I do think it would make the perfect bride scent. So I'm going to go through the notes quickly. Top notes, lychee, rhubarb, bergamot. Middle notes, rose, peony, musk. And then base notes of cashmerian, incense and vetiver. And this one's really special to me because I actually wore this on the day that I got engaged. So it's sentimental. I'll always have amazing scent memories and it gets so many compliments. People absolutely love Delena. You can find cheaper options to this. It is duped, a duped fragrance, but I will always come back to the OG because she just hits differently like that like lychee and rhubarb note can't really be done in the same way in my opinion any of the other versions that i've smelt 
But what I will definitely have is a designer option in my next video, if this one is a little bit out of budget for you. But yeah, this is a no-brainer for a bridal fragrance if that's the type of notes that you love. And it will definitely be a contender for me on my day, but what I might do is layer it to create something a little bit more unique. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful in some type of way. I must say I am still on the hunt for my perfect wedding day scent. I don't know if I'm quite there yet. I've smelled so many things and there are so many beautiful options out there, but I am really stuck to be honest. And you can probably guess what type of fragrances I'm gravitating towards for my wedding day. So I would love to hear your recommendations on what you think I might like, because I do really want to continue this series and take you on a journey with me to finding the perfect wedding day fragrance. But just yet, yeah, please note that I'm not really a big fan of tuberose. So if you can avoid recommending those types of fragrances to me, that would be great. But I also would love to know what your top wedding scent would be for yourself or what wedding scent did you wear on your big day? It's fascinating to me and it will also give me ideas. I would also love your help as, like I mentioned, I would love to do a bridal series. But what I want to know is what types of videos would you like to see on this journey? Is it all kind of perfume fragrance related or would you like to see other aspects of like the wedding day planning, etc? Because this is like one of my favourite topics ever and I'm happy to create lots of content around this. So do pop your ideas in the comments below. It will really help me out. But thank you so much as always for joining this video. I really appreciate your support. If you would love to subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. I will keep creating content like this for you. But thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have a brilliant day and I will see you all soon. Thank you. Goodbye.